How's it going guys? I'm Dustin with Hard Cruise Racing. Welcome back to our race trailer. Um, as you can see, we have some things laid out, um, but the trailer for the most part is empty. We are currently working on uh, rebuilding an engine for our dirt circle track truck, um, but today it's downpouring and I wanted to get an engine put in and that's sitting outside right now underneath of a canopy, but you know, nonetheless, I don't want to be outside in the soaking wet rain laying on the ground trying to get a transmission mounted. So, Today we're going to talk about a product, okay? Um, just a disclaimer, Last Fit Lighting, or Last Fit, um, they reached out to me to review some of their products. They said that they thought they had a product that would go good with our Bronco Sport, and I decided, well, let's take a look at it, okay? This is, uh, they did send me a product, but I'm not getting paid for this, this uh, video. Um, but I do have a link for you guys, a link. You go to lastfit.com and you and you type in this link, you will receive a discount, and that will be how I get an income from this video. Um, I'll just be straight up and honest with you guys out front, right? So today I kind of want to do an unboxing, and I say that in a sense of I actually videoed an unboxing video like a month ago when they sent me the product, but when I looked at the product and looked at what they sent me, I kind of got excited. I got excited for um, the potential that I seen that this product had. Okay, so if you're new to the channel, um, yes, we do racing, and like I said, we're in the race trailer right now because of the rain. Um, but we also, we I've owned a custom automotive shop for uh, um, probably around a decade. Um, is when I started doing uh, part part restoration and customization, and then I did custom uh, upholstery or custom interior for a while and then when COVID happened we kind of pulled back from that okay um, so we did we did that for a long time we also run an emergency response okay we do search and rescue and on scene stuff so lighting is kind of serious guys lighting is a big deal for us so when I got this product and they said what you know they have a line of products what would I like to review I chose something that I thought in my brain, yes, it could go on the Bronco Sport Badlands, which we do use for emergency response, um, but it also could go on anything else. It could be used in our race trailer on the inside or outside. It could be used anywhere where I could put a car battery, okay? Um, and this was a big deal for, in my opinion, for the search and rescue stuff for like kayaks and boats because um, we have a whole set of kayaks for you know help you know to find people or just anything and i looked for a product that it was versatile like this so they sent it to me let me show you what we have so like i said before i've already opened this i technically did an unboxing video with it but i never posted the unboxing video because as i was unboxing it i kind of i got excited guys i'll be honest with you i got excited that's what happened so the first thing that comes in your box, in one of these boxes, specifically this box right here, is the lighting itself. Now I chose to get, when you go to online to order their, their lighting, okay, when you go online to look at lighting, you have a whole array of options. Say you do click on these small marker, or these small lights, okay, uh, not only do you have the option for like white or yellow, but you have the option for floodlights, driving lights, fog lights. Um, you have options, okay? So go on there and decide what you want, what you want to do, use your vehicle for. These are their floodlights, and they all look the same. It's just gonna, mainly going to be the difference in the lens and the bulbs. These are their floodlights, okay? My thought when I bought these was get them mounted up on the Bronco Sport somewhere so when we do go into an area to try to find someone or for any situation, we can turn these on and have some adjustability. Um, and that, that's my theory. And that's exactly what these are for, okay? Um, so you get these lights, and I mean, you, I'll get up close here, guys. It's a quality light. That's a, uh, if I had to guess, I would say that's a forged metal body. We have some, or some magnets. Let's just make sure. I don't want to give you guys false information, okay? All right, here's a work magnet, just to make sure. Okay, that's going to be aluminum. It's going to be aluminum body. You can hear the ting. It is going to be aluminum. So no worry on corrosion or rusting. Uh, I like the design all around. Just looking at it, let's see. Your lighting comes out the back already wired in with a nice little plug um, and then he comes with the mounts here's the mounts for the lights 
Um, it's a single screw in kind of method and the light will sit down inside of there. This will give you some, some tilt control and it'll also give you some left and right movement. So these come with these lights. They're nice mounts. Again, we'll just go through and check everything. It's gonna be an aluminum mount. So no worries on corrosion resistance or anything like that. Which is nice, guys. If you ever put in a cheap set of lights on something, you know that things start to rust very quickly and it's very frustrating. I could show you a set of lights we have on, a, on an old Fiat 500L. It was a sleeper van kind of project with a turbo and a six speed. And uh, long story short, the lights that I put on the front rusted in like a week. And that's frustrating. Also with these lights in that box, you're gonna need to get two pigtail clips. This means that you can use the clip that comes on the light itself, clip right into it, and then you can wire into whatever switches you want. Then you're gonna get a bag with some mountings and some, some uh, locking washers or grooved washers, things like that, with the tools so you can install the light. Pretty much drill a hole into whatever surface you wanna put these through, bolt them up and you're ready to go. So that's the first box, okay? That's the that's what you get when you order the lights. Now, you have the option of adding the wiring harness to this whole setup. And let me tell you what. Add the wiring harness, guys. I'm not big on up sales. I have the stuff here to, to build a wiring harness, whatever switch set wanted, whatever. Buy buy this harness. Like genuinely pay the extra for the harness, okay? When I build a harness, I genuinely overkill harness. It's just the way I am. It's the way that I build things, and that's okay, right? So when you buy this harness, let's just start from the light end, right? So we have the two, the two pigtails off the end, mine are tangled together, that both co that come up to these watertight clips. So these will just plug right in, and you're ready to go, right? So yep, that's the that's the wiring for that section, right? Super long leads. What we got here? Let's just guesstimate. We're going to guesstimate. I see your arm width is about the same as your height, right? So there's going to be five, six. Let's grab it again. Hold on. So that's a 10, probably, what, 10 foot? 8 to 10 foot leads? That should be plenty enough to get anywhere you need to go. Coming back down the harness, we have a relay. Relays are nice because all of your control is pushed to the box itself and if you have to swap something out or replace it it's a lot easier than fighting through your wiring um, going down this side is your positive and negatives with an inline fuse so it protects the entire system so check this out guys positive and negative right here right what does that mean that means you can easily wire this straight to your battery put your relay somewhere and run your wiring up to your lights going down this other loom run to the other end quick Here's a disconnect, it makes doing wiring easier, and then get to the end, you have a button. It's a little click button, okay? It has red and green lights to tell you if your lights are on, and it's just sticky. Why do you think I love this so much, guys? Well, first off, I didn't have to run a bunch of wires. I didn't have to worry about it. It all, become, it all comes sleeved up, very organized. But here's the thing, if I put this in my Bronco Sport, I don't want to be drilling for a button okay I'm already trying to figure out in there right now where to put you know new emergency light switches and things like that and in new vehicles there is not a lot of room and it's not like old vehicles were like oh just throw the switch here and it's out of the way no anywhere I put it in that Bronco Sport it's gonna be in the way or I'm gonna hit it with my knee or something stupid or I got to do a lot of drilling to try to run the wiring okay it's all very sealed and a pain in the butt okay this is a nice switch with a just sticky back I'm actually probably gonna look up where I can buy these switches because for all my other lighting, all my little lighting that goes on the Bronco Sport, I would really like that, okay? So to me, and the reason that I am encouraging this product, okay? Again, they did send me the product for free, but they did not pay me for this, okay? So I'm going to be straight up and honest with you guys right now. I'm looking at versatility. I'm looking at what I can use this on. I am looking at the idea and then I could throw alligator clips on this end right here, so I could plug it into any battery. I could take these lights and mount them to anything I want and be able to turn it on. 
if I say I want to just throw this setup into a kayak, okay? And again, if we're doing emergency response stuff, the option to take lighting with you is kind of big. But let's just say I wanted to throw this into a kayak. I could have a battery box with this hooked up to it and all these switches tucked off to the side. Let's just say we have two boxes, just to be safe. One big box, two boxes, it doesn't matter. I could take all this whole setup, strap it into the back of my kayak, and clip the light mount somewhere. Or build a quick little, what, two, 290 degrees on a bracket? You, you can do that quick, right? Anyone can do that. But let's just say you clip these to the front of your kayak. You now have lights. Let's say I wanted them back by me, so I clip them back by me. I now have lights that I can adjust, pick up, point at stuff, and I'm running off an entire car battery, guys. Uh, I could run this off a smaller battery. Maybe we'll try it to see how long it lasts. Maybe I'll, you know, pull the mower battery out, charge it up fully. Maybe we'll hook these up and see how long they stay on for. Because that's what I'm here thinking, okay? Uh, as a matter of fact, I want to I want to attach these to all sorts of things before we go putting them on the car. I bought these for the Bronco Sport, and that's the original idea with them. But I want to look at the versatility. So follow our channel uh share this video and and watch for the upcoming stuff because i think i want to take this light setup not similar ones i want to take this light setup these lights those switches and i want to see what all i can connect them to that's what i want to do okay uh so follow and like our videos um i'm going to do a few more product reviews i buy a lot of stuff and i play around with a lot of stuff and then i never review it and lighting is just one of those things okay i was already shopping for lighting and last fit they they reached out for me last fit right here's the, the the logo here um they reached out to me and uh said that they had a product that really meet my demands really paired up with what i wanted to uh what i wanted to do here's what their their logo looks like so that way you can see that anywhere any shop you're on um same with these here's the logo um here's the these are the, the three inch led pods um, and it says it's a California based company. Okay. Again, I mean, it just, there's, it's all simple guys. It comes with instructions, but unless you're building your own harness, if you buy this harness, it is so simple. If you don't buy that harness, you need to understand wiring. And I don't want to go into that with you guys because it is a very, very deep subject. So buy the harness. It's so simple. And I am... I'm going to beat and abuse these, and I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. I'm going to I'm gonna use these until they stop working, and I'll let you know when they stop working. Um, so that, let's do that, okay? Like, follow, enjoy. Um, I know I want you guys to watch my content. But get off Facebook, guys. Get out there and explore and try new things. Go kayaking, go biking, go adventure, okay? Most importantly, make sure that you have a good day. Thank you.